Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. We're going to walk you through the installation of the JLT oil separator on your 2.3 liter Ford Explorer EcoBoost. Including the JLT oil separator kit, it's the oil separator, mounting bracket, mounting nut and bolt and screws, two hoses with quick connect fittings and dress up ends, tools you'll need for installation is a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, Phillips head screwdriver, and light oil. Okay, for the first part we're going to need to get under our Explorer. We have ours on a lift, but you can do this certainly with a jack and jack stands. Going under the driver's side, you will locate the PCV line, which is that corrugated hose there, that fitting with the blue tab. And this is driver's side, you got transmission, that's the starter there on your right. And then we just need to disconnect the one side of that line. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so we have our line disconnected, which is this line here. Now to remove this fitting, there's this little blue tab that you pull away. And pull the fitting off of the vehicle. All right, we're going to want to route our hoses down so they're easy to grab from underneath the vehicle. First one I'm going to route is the one that's going to go to the PCV connection, um, the other side of the OEM hose. I'm actually going to put a piece of tape on this so I remember which hose it is when I'm hooking it up to the can. And this will be just for my PCV connection. Now to route this, there is a metal pipe. We're going to actually push the fitting between the metal pipe and this rubber hose. This rose flexes. Gonna get that down there and started. Now you don't need much, just a little, just to hold it for now. And then we're gonna take our other hose that has our 90 degree fitting on it, and we're gonna put that on the other side of the metal pipe. So not through the pipe, but on the other side between that and the steering shaft here. And we're just gonna sit that down there for now. All right, so now we're back under the vehicle. You can see our 90 degree line here and our straight fitting here. So we're gonna to wanna to connect the 90 degree fitting first. Once we push the fitting all the way onto the male fitting, we're gonna push this green tab down to lock it. So just pull the straight out of the way. So that's pushed all the way in, and we engage that, I could tug on it, and it's on. Now for the straight fitting, we're going to need to pull that down towards us. And get it into this factory connection. like so and then pull that together and that'll snap into place too which is going to be much easier to do with two hands so just bear with me there we go so you can see that connection is made And we just don't want a lot of stress on this hose. It's pretty loose and it's already corrugated with the bend in it. So, and we're gonna secure it from the top to, to keep it away from things that we don't want it to touch. All right, now our hose is back up here. We want to wrap these a very specific way. 
So this PCV one with the blue tape, we're just gonna route up and around this ground strap and that will hold that. This other line, we wanna remove this EVAP line and these connections, there's two green tabs on them. You just pull up on the tabs and push them towards the fitting and then pull that off. And we're gonna route the same thing. We're gonna route it around this ground strap on top of it. And then we're gonna use that line to our advantage. So once you have that, you just press in the green tab to get it back to the lock position. So that's nice and limber. Let's see if I can get a closer view for you guys. So this is our PCB line. Grab your mounting bracket and nut and bolt. And put your bolt through. This hole here next to this hood bumper is the one that we're going to be using. So put your bolt through. Grab your nut and reach around to the back side of it. And just start that. And then we're going to take our can. We're not going to tighten this yet until we have the hoses attached to it. Get your can started. We are going to go ahead and tighten those screws up. part we need to connect our line so we know that the line with the blue tape is going to the PCV valve which is going to go to the dirty side of our can the can with the filter the filtered side which is the T side of the can so we're going to want to lubricate this hose end um, just with some oil also put a little bit on the actual fitting here and that'll help us install that line Take your dress up end first, install that onto the hose, and push that all the way on, and we're going to do the same for the other side. Press up end. And we have those how we want them. So now that the can is sitting where it wants to sit, we'll go and tighten that bolt. You shouldn't need to hold that nut on the back side. It should just bite into the, the metal here. To show you a final install here, got our can. Both lines routed on top of this ground strap. There's plenty of clearance on the steering shaft. Our line to our intake manifold is routed around the EVAP with our line to the PCV routed through our metal EGR pipe.